What is up guys? Let's take a quick look at the Exalt Low Gravity Pants. So these are technically Exalt's second pair of lightish weight pants. They also have their throwback pant, which are a little bit more reminiscent of like an old school pant. They're primarily cotton, do have those like nylon ballistic knees, so they wear a little bit better on the knees. But these, the low gravity pants, are really their first pant that is more modern, has some cool technical features. So uh, yeah, quick look. Exalt actually did not make these pants. They made them in conjunction with Anthrax. Anthrax and Exalt just teamed up for their collaboration. As you can see, Anthrax and Exalt up on the top. So these aren't like a whole new pant as they are like teamed up with Anthrax. They're the same exact pant that Anthrax is offering, their low gravity pant. These ones just happen to say Exalt on the front of them. So if you're on a team, you know, you're looking at sponsorship packages and Anthrax is one of those sponsorships you're looking at, this review or quick look is gonna be the same for those Anthrax low gravity pants. So these are a lightweight pant, but do have knee pads built into them. But let's first I don't know, discuss the lightweightness of them. You can see this back material is extremely lightweight, as well as that crotch material. If you watched a video that I made a few weeks ago now on the Virtue Breakout Pants, I kind of talked how I liked the material on those breakout pants. They're a little bit thicker in the crotch area and maybe a little bit more snug. I bring that up because these Low gravity pants are very lightweight in the front and the material is very, very thin. I don't like that. It just kind of freaks me out because I like that more secure feeling in the front. But like I said earlier in that other video, it doesn't really matter to me because I am wearing slider shorts. So I have that little bit of groin protection in the front. Even if I was, you know, running around pantless, those slider shorts do have that front like nut padding area. These have a little bit of that, like there's definitely a thicker material in the front and a little bit of padding on this crotch area, but nothing like you'd see in the slider shorts or really just not feeling as secure as those Virtue Breakout pants. These do have a little bit protection area though, right on the front area, you can actually pull a pad out. So all you have to do is unzip the very front like quad area of these and then the pads can like just slide right out. Then you can actually use it as a pocket. So you could use it as a pocket with that pad in there or use it with a pocket or use it as a pocket with the pad out. Either way, you could you know, store things in the center. And then they do have a little bit of a knee pad. So there's a very light padding in there. I mean, I'm saying that pad is maybe like, gosh, an eighth of an inch. So it's very, very minimal, which makes these pants super light. Doesn't make them very heavy. Like say the other Exalt, like T4 Thrasher pants that are very heavy and very padded. These ones are still gonna be very light, even though they do have that front pad. So I kind of like this slimmer fit pant. I'm, I'm down for like, having just not as much crazy bagginess all over the place. So I like how they're not actually having a pant leg, like a typical pant leg. They're going with that jogger style, like elastic, like sweatpants style bottom that just makes them a little bit tighter, a little bit more snug, and then a little bit more streamlined and like quicker, that style that I kind of like. They do not have any back pockets though. So on the back of these, it's just pant. There are no rear pockets anywhere to be found. They do have pod holders though, or I shouldn't say pod holders, I should say swab spots. So on the bottom like calf area, there are two spots you can hold pods or swabs right here on one leg and then the exact same on the other leg somewhere. It's a little hard to find when they're all folded up like this, but it's right there. And then you can also see a lot of mesh padding or ventilation really on the back of that leg to keep you cool in those hot summer months. I'm also definitely a fan of the closure on the front of these and how they're keeping that waist closed. So it's all Velcro and then uses a shoelace. So I like this. I'm a fan of these shoelace style closures. I can just make them really tight and make them much more secure than any of those waist cinching style or even using a typical belt. So I like that closure. Uh, it just makes them easy to close. And then it's just streamlined, right? Like I said, in most of these reviews now, all these lightweight pants are kind of getting rid of all those hard parts and there are really no hard parts in the front of these. So if you're diving and stuff like that, you know, you're not getting zippers and like stuff poking into your stomach. So I'm a fan of these things. I find this waist area very comfortable with that shoelace and tons of elastic. I like those ankles. The only thing I don't like is those knee pads. I don't care if I have knee pads on pants. I wear knee pads under my pants and find that the pads on most of these paintball pants kind of pointless. So I prefer pants without pads, but if you want a lightweight pair of paintball pants, they do have 
some padding, the Exalt Low Gravity Pants or, you know, those Anthrax Pants will fit the bill for pants.